Welcome back to the back nine. This is a practice round for the Beaver State Fling presented by Innova. I'm here with Aaron Gossage, really put himself up there in the mix to win last weekend at OTB, so super excited to have him on, continuing his hot streak out here on the West Coast. How are you liking the course so far? Love the course out here. Um, a lot of cool shots. Um, overall, the biggest, best part about the whole thing is just the scene, the atmosphere, being out here in the state park. It's just beautiful. Yeah, the fresh air, the flowers, the running river clackmas that you can hear throughout the entire course. Just the ambiance that is unlike any other place and the ferns give you kind of a drastic feel almost. So I'm one down through nine, Aaron's two down. We got a battle to see which uh, player is jumping in the water after the round. Loser has to take a dip in the clackmas. So we got some stakes on the line and we're not talking ribeyes. Yeah, <laughs> it should be fun. <laughs> so uh, honestly, I think that we're hoping we tie at this point because we're both a little toasty and hopefully both get wet at the end. We'll see how the strategy plays out. You might see a little <laughs> chest down the, down the stretch. <laughs> Sweet. We're on to hole 10, uh, 700 feet. Again, one of the little easier par fours on the course, not too much. There's a OB line on the left. Trees tucked back in the woods. Again, another beautiful green. Um, great uh, to approach at. Uh, my play is going to be just a hyzer. The grass is very skippy, so I'm going to try to play it on the right side so that when I get that big skip, I'll just be kind of on the left side. Overall, um, this course, this hole um, just needs a little bit more like danger, a little bit more to it. It's just a little too open at the moment and love to see something a little bit more interesting on one of the shots. So yeah. right side OB even maybe. Yeah, I was thinking <sighs> island approach. Right, island. This would be a good time to add an island hole to it. Just like maybe make everything short of like circle's edge out of bounds. So you have to kind of push it into the tree line. Then you get a few more like interesting putts out of it. Yeah. I don't know, something like that, just to add a little bit of stress to the shot. But we'll see how it goes. Let you through. <laughs> like I said, huge skip. So um, definitely trying to play it on the right side of the fairway but I'm in a good spot there. Should have just a back end of the pin. This new run of silver lot rives has been amazingly, amazingly overstable. So I'm just gonna rip it flat at that little birdhouse over on the right and try to get some ground play. That looks good. Yeah, here's a little more overstable so it checks up. Yeah, there it is. I right, have we're both similar range, about 300 feet to the basket, and yeah, I think we chose pretty overstable conservative shots. We could stretch it a little further, but not much reason to here. I'm going to go harp into the green. Oh yeah, shank job. That's the thing, I threw it as bad as I can, and I'm still like 36 feet, so yeah, like easy hole. Yeah, now we got a little bit of breeze, so I'm going to throw a little wider, but yeah, just a zone of the pin. Yeah, I scared Aaron. <laughs> Both That's about as throw bad great, as you'll see us throw I think they're just inside the circle, so it could be worse. Oh my gosh. Inch short. I feel like all these baskets are pretty low throughout the track, so some you can really get aggressive on the greens. Yeah, also didn't throw the best up shot, but still the putt. Let's see if we can connect. I'm glad Aaron didn't let that one slip away because this is a <laughs> hole we definitely both need to score on to put down a hot round. Again though, just like beautiful green, nice shade, the wood chips look great, moss on all the trees. Love the aesthetics of the course. They smell good and taste good too. <laughs> hole 11, otherwise known as the Philo Albatross hole, except for we play it as a par four now, so pretty much off the table to score three under par. 850 feet well around the corner to the left and then the second shot is going to be some kind of a flex shot to a guarded basket 
I feel like this one really sets up nicely for a pushing hyzer. So not necessarily your most overstable disc, but maybe your most understable disc that you can still trust ripping into on hyzer, let it flip up around the corner. For me, that's gonna be this beat-in rive. One of the interesting things is we have a lot of different concrete surfaces out here. There's like three or four different textures we play on. So luckily we have really good weather this week, so I don't think it'll be as much of a factor as it could be otherwise. Oh my gosh, <laughs> too grippy, man. I hit, hit myself with my, oh, my heel wow. on the front of the... <laughs> good stop, good it's, stop. Good stop. It's always a good stop, right? I don't know why people say that. It's like, <laughs> is it a good stop? You probably shouldn't have messed up anyways. Interesting, going for the left side. That That is probably too far left. Yeah, I think a little bit. I think I, I didn't play this hole yesterday, so I need to calibrate okay. myself. Yeah, uh, Connor summed it up pretty well. I'm going for as much distance as possible. That's about my only goal here. But just a gentle little flip up, see if we can get out there. I think Aaron's only problem with this is that, once again, there's no forehand shots. But. <laughs> You know what's bad when it takes you your full 30 seconds of time to just get to your lie? Oh. <laughs> Got my leg into a legal lie. Now time to just chip a forehand roller out. No play. This is the first of maybe like three or four um, par fours on the back nine that are just super challenging. And um, I like it more than the easier par threes because I think they get a little bit more separation. You won't see many birdies on them, but you will see not just everyone taking a par. You'll see a lot more uh, bogeys, a lot more double bogeys. So um, definitely a lot of struggles to be had here. The shot you're looking for here that most people throw is a backhand little flex. You wanna go in between the tree and the, the rough on the left, and then just flex it around the corner, and that's where the basket is. Um, I've heard that there's a low line on the right, which Connor might be able to throw, or even the high line on the right, since he is so much there on the left side of the fairway. But um, good hole overall, just very challenging to get the, the birdie here. Not a great mistake there. Um, you can just see there's a little bit of tailwind. My disc came out a little too early. I like the line. I could just tell that with the tailwind, it wasn't gonna hold long enough there. All right, looking for something amazing here to get up and down. I'm gonna try the same left side that Aaron did. I just don't know enough about the right side, so going with the honor. Turn. Not gonna do it, y'all. That's sketchy. Yeah, this is one of those really wide open routine tee shots, so that'll be an easy adjustment for me to make now that I know left is very bad and there's so much room off to the right. Go high I'm gonna too. try a little slippery high as a forehand touch guy. Okay. Yeah, good out. It's a scary spot to be. Wow, oh, got lucky. <laughs> We're just gonna flip that one there. Got a little. I'm just gonna here. move this whole tree for you. Nick Connor, but still don't. This really is have dead anything. and unattached. So here, let's just. Oh wow! Get this bad boy out of here. Holy cow! Thank you, sir. All right, I got kind of a weird shot here, but we're gonna see if we can. A little low hyzer or a uh, low air bounce. Oh, nice. got the air bounce, just couldn't get it high enough. I don't know how I even got it under that branch. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely a painful bogey, but like I said, I didn't play this hole yesterday, so I forgot 
how off limits that left side is. Yeah. And it's an easy, easy one to avoid for sure. I'm pretty happy with getting a par there. Yeah. Didn't it's... quite execute one of the shots super well. So coming away with the par is a good result for me. Yeah, there's gonna be some tricky spots on the inside left and we'll see a lot of misses there. Yeah. We're on hole 12. This is a lot of people's favorite hole in the course. Great downhill shot, 442. Um, and you've got the river back behind the basket. So um, you do have a little bit of that fear of like losing your disc if you don't get it over a little bit. And you have to make sure to get your angle just right um, since it is so downhill. Um, I'm going Buzz OS. Plays about the same as those other two straight shots. So I'm hoping that it'll go nice and straight for me. push yeah still great faded out a little early but because it is the mid i'm hoping it'll be safe i'm going a little faster opto x explorer it's looking to play a touch of turn out of the hand there it is fight out a line that'll pop yeah there we go disappeared on into circle one I did manage to stay safe, but I don't have a look. We're gonna see if we can get up and down here. All right, we got a birdie look. Nice, two. there it is. 12 is always a feel good one. Like Aaron said, it's just, it's fun to throw this hole. We'll play. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, let's see if we can clean up the par here. There's that new putt. No. Gosh, dude. I love like you. You almost like as soon as you step foot on the other side of these big trees, you almost feel like the coolness of the river. Whoops! I distracted him. You guys. <laughs> We're good. We're good. We're getting it out now. Left. We're getting it out. <laughs> Hole 13, pretty straightforward in terms of the rules, just out of bounds river, which almost will never come into play. This one last year was a flip up hyzer that had to finish left. This year they moved it quite a bit to the right and now it's more of just your traditional flip up hyzer. Playing at 390 feet, it's gonna be right there between a hard fairway driver or a flip up distance driver. I'm gonna go distance driver, just with that little bit of uphill and you know, I think if I go long, I'll be pretty happy. Basket, Woo. not bad. Felt good, it's gonna be hard not to skip off left at the end with yeah. the, the, the disc selection that I went with, but It'll be a little see left. how Yeah, like you said, I'm just trying to flip it up a little bit right into the gap and then push as straight as I can. See if I can get back there, I'm throwing the onyx again. Had the, the flight I was looking for, just threw it a touch too tight. Just trying to save the par here. Uh, that's gonna be a little straighter than that. Let's try this. Yeah, there we go. All right, found our way into this canopy that protects the green from the left side, but Go with the double kneeling falling putt. <laughs> I think I got a good chance. No. Do better. Definitely a tough birdie, so uh, tapping in a couple pars isn't isn't too bad on this hole. You think you're sticking with the onyx here? Yeah. Yeah, I liked my shot. I threw it maybe a touch too much hyzer. Um, I was flipping up this a little bit more on hole one this morning. Um, yeah. but I think that was the headwind more than anything, so I gotta remember that. All right, on to hole 14 here. Um, this one is in that like category, I would say, of a very like challenging par four that is gettable with a couple good shots. 
Um, 675, so um, a little long, but um, it's the, the green and this like initial gap are the two big challenges on this hole. Uh, you'll see a lot of players, um, including myself, going to throw like a little baby flex backhand, throw a Nuke OS, something really stable, so trying to get out that gap, fade to the left, and from there it's like a forehand upshot. I think some people might be blasting something straighter too, but um, I think the flex line is what you'll see for most players. Oh, overturned. That makes for a long hole. Yeah, I feel like that tree Aaron beat, once you get past that, it's pretty wide open on the right side of this gap. So that's one of the keys. Gonna go Snorlax Rive. Yeah, nicely thrown. Yeah, not playing it quite as stable, just kind of hitting that one flat, hoping it'll fade late. That should be pretty wide open forehand approach. Yeah, gosh, it's hard to, it's kind of a small shot, I'll try it again. You can just like basically throw a hyzer. Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all. It's a little out of position here. I'm just gonna try to chip something around this corner, get up and down for a par. Ooh, that was a narrow little gap. It was a good hit. Thanks. Yeah, not too far. I'll take it. All right, this is a great spot to be. I think I got a little less than 300 feet into the pen or so. I'm gonna go Pioneer forehand. That's a forehand Aaron might even be proud of. It's a good shape. Nice shot. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's crazy how much this hole really makes you feel kind of tight in on the tee, but once you get out of that initial gap, it's pretty wide open airspace, but then once again, wrench wrenches down on you, coming into the green. I managed to get out here to a pretty good landing zone, so got a zone into the pin. Just try to play nice and smooth here. Long fade. Oh. Just gets over the log, but yep. a little bushy putt. Pushed a little straighter than I thought. Thought it would hook up a little sooner. All right, got kind of a tough putt here, but definitely makeable. Here we go. That putt was bushier than Aaron's bush. mustache, but he made, made him feel right at home, that's for sure. That's a really good par save to hit that a little tricky putt. Yeah. I'm happy with that. If you're familiar with the Beaver State Fling, you'll recognize this tee shot. It used to be a big turnover par three tucked into the tree line straight ahead, but now you play a big shot into the open and then we're connecting it to the next hole's basket location, which was the one where players would play the huge spiking Anheuser crashing into the trees. You guys recognize when we get there. Either way, I'm not quite sure what the best play is off the tee. But I think I like a big roller. So I'm gonna try it with the hatchet. Very unique shot tape. We almost need to throw like a, a letter C. He's going to push into the tree line on the backside. I don't know if a roller is necessarily the play or not. Let's let Aaron tell me. He's going forehand though. Since it is all tied up, I think I will go with the forehand. <laughs> Maybe throw the, the roller or the backhand second. What if it wasn't tied up? Good question. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it's a weird shot no matter what. You need this fist to come backwards. Uh, not just kind of like push. I'm going safe placement shot. Decent shot. It probably is still pushing a little long. Well, I'm quickly realizing that roller is probably not. 
Well, I need up this hole, so I'll probably end up going forehand or turn over with that river. Shot. You got a long approach shot. I think if you tuck the basket another 100 feet up into the woods and then clean this up a little bit, you can make a really solid par five out of it. Um, where you just have a couple placing shots and you get really aggressive, try to get up there for a look. Yeah, it does feel a little intense for a four. Yeah. It's just kind of in between where it's just a little too intense. Plus, um, I love fives. I wish there were more par fives. Yeah. They create so much scoring, and they also allow for creativity a lot of times. Yeah. Alright, this is... Saw this through the roller perfectly. Push it a tiny bit too straight. Yeah. Gotta ride this log like a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to hit my hand. Kick Connor's out, but I'll go ahead and tap out while he's getting ready. Hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Golly, man. <laughs> what happens when you switch in your putting style up a little bit? Yeah, plus the added pressure of going out of order because I was being lolly guy. <laughs> I told myself on these steep uphill eyes, I need to just go to the track. Let's do that. I don't want it. Take it in. <laughs> oh, it happens to the best of us. Overall, really tough green. Um, any way you cut it. We should have made those putts, but still, like, circle's edge on this hole plays like 40 feet. Yeah, very, um, very steep easy to get rollaways and then it's super tough to approach that too so like tap-ins are just not going to happen very often yeah. Yeah. we're on hole 16. Um, i would say that 16 17 18 kind of make or break a course a lot of times and i think the, these three holes that we were about to play are three of the best holes on the course um, I love the aspect of just like coming down the final stretch, no one really feeling safe. A lot of strokes can swing in any direction. That's what makes for a great finish to a course. So this hole is 660, not incredibly long and a pretty routine tee shot, throwing kind of a backhand straight there. But then the upshot is through a nice tight gap all the way towards the road. So I think anything can really happen on this hole. Take some precise shots to really get the birdie, but very doable. Um, and it brings bogey into play quite a bit. One of the weird things about this tee shot is this tree right here. It doesn't really affect me because I like to run up from the right side of the tee pad, but I know it gets in a lot of people's heads just because it's right behind the tee pad. So a couple funky things going on here, but hopefully we can just lay something down the middle, give ourselves a chance of birdie. too straight but the ground is skippy out there so you do often get a skip around the corner if you throw it well going back to that nice overstable ride just snuck it under the 
Oh, push the back dive, that'll be just fine. I've got 335 into the pin, um, kind of a little longer than I'd like to have, for sure. Um, but it lets me throw like kind of a full shot, so I'm going Buzz OS. Try to snap it up there, just get it in the gap, give myself a putt. All right, 300 feet to go, a little bit uphill. I kind of want to move the disc just slightly from the left to the right. So I'm going to go with the fuse. Wow, close. Pressure's on the pier. Like that, two stroke swing. Oh. I hate to get him like that though. I hate to get him like that. Oh, yeah. We've been playing a lot of combination holes from last year's tracks, and this one is no different. You might recognize this tee shot. It used to be a par four that played pretty straight ahead, but now. We play across the road into the island parking lot green that many of you guys are familiar with for the par three that are the long short par four that usually follows this one off the tee you really just got to push it straight nice distance line there's a big pine tree out there in the open if you can finish left of that you're gonna be very happy i'm gonna go snorlax drive it's a little bit of turn out of the hand nice and firm Favorable as I might be able to ask for a big so I don't know whether I found that road out of bounds or not. <laughs> okay. Yep, same shot. We're just trying to throw a dead straight and have a little fade at the end. Is that too much hazard? Same shot through yesterday. There's like a bank there. I think it'll be good. I think I need less stability because I feel like a little hyzer release is nice here. Yeah. Shouldn't know when it was a throw Joe's guy. Not the drive I wanted, but very fortunate to be inbound in the spot I can make good progress from. Make that same ride. Kind of get it well down there. That's gonna make for a tough off shot. Very safe, very safe. That's a fast island green. And I am in a precarious zone in terms of being able to attack. Alright, I managed to trickle out of bounds onto the road somehow. Not really didn't know that was possible.
Find Edge, find Edge. Right up there. Wow. Back and bounce safe on the left side, so I think I got a putt. Green line. Three thirty out. Three hundred nine feet it said. On. Three hundred nine. Okay. All right. Three hundred nine out. I could try to lay up and pitch up for par, but you know, Aaron was an honorable, respectable competitor by trying to go for that. So we gotta do the same. <laughs> I'm just gonna hammer on this justice. Try to get the skip back off the road, maybe. Justice. Oh no, I think I'm gonna be hanging out here maybe. I hope so at least. Yeah, I heard the road next to me, I guess. I heard the road, but I don't know if it's skipping or gonna. Pitchy! aggressive than we would otherwise. Absolutely. But, uh, I, I probably would have just shifted my bar. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I would have had to take a boat view. Well, that would be not too good. Mm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I went one, two, three. Math gets hard when you throw bed shots. All right, we fell apart a little at the end, so we're tied up at two over par, but um, 18, solid hole, great finishing hole, um, 690 feet. Uh, most people are gonna play some kind of shot over into that left lane zone in between the two trees, probably a backhand hyzer is what I'm gonna throw, and then kind of a like 300 foot flick up to the pin around that distance. There's gonna be OB pretty tight to the basket. Um, so it does make the upshot a little challenging. It does pay to have some distance. And the fairway is very skippy. So unless you get your uh, disc on a lot of like angle or you get it nice and wide, there is a chance of skipping out into the parking lot. So I'm gonna to try to go with the first one, throw a lot of angle, land it nice and uh, spiky and hopefully just get a little check skip. I got nervous. I hope you guys appreciate not only the awesome guests that we have on, but that we always kind of err on the side of being over aggressive in these practice rounds just to make it entertaining. And we can always choose the layup in practice or in, in the tournament, but a lot of times in practice, we don't we don't want to waste our time doing that. So we just, we play aggressive. <laughs> All right, taking stable ride. Get somewhere right over in the neighborhood of Aaron's good. Gotta dig. Grabby. Dig. No, I oh felt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was not what I needed, you guys. The water's the calling my name. Slow <laughs> trickle out at the end. Oh, uh, aggressive, ain't you? <laughs> Damn, you don't get the stump. The stump's a cool shot, cool hole. Um, the ladies get to play that one, but it's a little too easy for the guys. So we're playing back behind that. Um, maybe like 3.30 from here-ish, something like that. As you can see, the difference between my shot and Bob's shot is not much. Just the difference in one got a big skip, one did not. So, a little variation out here, but you definitely want to play it closer to this tree clump so that you can make sure to stay safe. Um, yeah, it is pretty fast down there as well. So, uh, he's going to be landed a little bit left of the basket so you can get a big flare skip out of there. You'll be a pretty fast. Thank you. 
came in next to soft. I need to throw this in, you guys. say that it's, it's good having a course where so much can happen on those final few holes it really makes it exciting all the way down to the end and then when you are the leader you have four or five strokes you can't just kind of take that stress off and just know that pars are going to be enough you got to really still throw good shots coming down the I hope you'll all boo me in the comments after this one. <laughs> That's a wrap. That'll do it. Again, this is another one where the river comes into play just a little bit. Um, you got to have a little bit of that. If I skip something over that wall, um, might never see that, that disc again. Definitely a different hazard and just beautiful course as a whole. Well, you guys, it was a battle of attrition until the end, but for real, it was a fun round and we learned a lot about the things we don't want to do on the course, the places that we want to be, and practice is all about figuring out a strong game plan, and I know both of our game plans got stronger today, so big thanks to Aaron for coming on the channel and showing us the lines he likes to take out here. It's a beautiful course and one that we've both been enjoying a lot, so how's your game feel? You gonna get some putts up tonight or what? Um, it's feeling good, exactly. The putting is just a little bit off right now, but uh, drives are feeling good, like you said developing that game plan each and every day. So feeling really solid about that. Just gonna hit the putting green tonight. So thanks for having me on here. I really appreciate it. It's always fun battling out with you. For sure, yeah. Super happy to be here on the West Coast. Make sure to give a big thank you to Megan for making all this available to you guys with her crisp camera work and amazing editing skills. Don't forget to pick up your Aaron Gossage merchandise over at the Discraft website slash team pit page. We'll have that in the description below. I've also got some stuff up on OTB discs and my new tour series rivers are flooding the markets. So go grab them and I'm going to go jump in the river myself because I just took the big L and I need to cool down. So it's a win-win, lose-lose, you name it, we're here <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs> well, as promised you guys, Getting in the Clackamas, this has to be some of the coldest water I've ever felt. Oh my, oh my gosh. Would not recommend. Actually, I would. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so cold.